and good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Money and Law on My FM 101.3 WMRC, formerly known as WMRC. Uh, Money and the Law is also broadcast on the Holliston Cable Access TV uh, right here in Holliston. Um, my name is John Droyan. I'm from Main Effort Financial. I'm joined by my esteemed colleague and uh, probably arguably one of my dearest and closest friends, Jay Marston from the Marston Law Group. Jay? How are you doing today? You know, uh, I think people would realize what good friends we are if they noticed that literally we dress Come up on. today as Come on. twins. I'm, gonna, Come on. I'm just going to cut the sleeves of my <laughs> shirt off, and that's going to be the end of it. Their beard, the glass. I'm looking at the glasses are almost right. the same. It's uh, it's frightening, frightening, uh, frightening, but funny and fr funny. Yeah, yeah. my uh, I on the you know today's a, it was a, it was very windy outside, yeah. so I was I was about to fix my hair, <laughs> but I said you know what the wind took care of it today. So yeah, I look, we call that yacht hair. Yeah, in business. Look, that's right. That's I, right. Was, I was I thought it was more like a Honda hair. I thought I rode in Honda my hair. my You're, Honda Goldwing, yeah. took oh, my screen off. School. Harley, baby. Come on. Go big. Go big. Go big. Right. Uh, I'm doing well. How are you today? I'm great. I'm great. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing my glasses in case yes. I have to read anything. Yes, you are. Yep. Uh, yep. They're, they're yep. not prescription, but they are the, they are they are an absolute necessity. Nice. Of course, as we are... As not only are they advancing. not prescription, there's absolutely no lens in them. They're yeah. just for looks only. That's right. He puts them on when he wants to look I smart. Look good. When you're in the meeting, you know, you want to put some... Oh, let me ask you a question about your rollover. I oh, have no. one question. I, I wish there were no lenses in them. However, if if there were no lenses in them, I wouldn't be able to read. Oh. I could read. I could read that. I could read WMRC, uh, which is written big letters over there. I could read anything up here in Spanish, which is uh, right behind us. Nice, nice. Well, I just broke. I just broke down and went. Uh, I upgraded uh, the font on my phone because I was finally. You did yes, it. yes. You did it. Yes. Excellent. It's like it's like using my mom's phone at this right. point like whoa 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 that this one letter on the screen i gotta scroll through the whole thing just to read everything and of course christian bidet from the house and cable he is he joins us he never shows himself on no, camera he doesn't no. make a sound right yep. he's like he's yeah, hidden he's, he's hidden yep, behind he's, the scenes and, but you know christian he's probably one of those guys like he could when he when they uh when he goes to get his eyes tested at, at, at the doctor's office they're like he reads the bottom line oh, yeah. he reads the yeah he reads the copyright you know 2012 yep, yeah yep. this 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 poster provided See? to you by that's right. Right, that's right. right. Ed's poster right. supply Eggs company. That's right. That's right. right. Evansville, Lance Illinois, or something like that. Yep. Right. That's right. And the zip code. All right. of it. Right down. To the, right down to the wire. Right. And down the, the, the wire. website. Right. Yep. Yep. <laughs> What's that say down there? I don't know, but yep. I can read underneath that. Yep. I can't even see my phone. That's what happens. Uh, it's Someday, you know Christian, what it's the you get old. youth name is party. wasted on the young. That's right. That's yeah, right. It that's is. right. That's right. Absolutely right. Um, so a crazy week. What's uh, what's on? What's on you? Is there anything particular on your mind? It's been a bit of a nutty. Nutty, kooky, madcap week, if you will, in the world. Uh, well, I mean, what's going from, on? from yeah, I mean, we, we, it's hard to it's hard to ignore it, right? And yeah, and yeah. and you know what? It's one of those things where um, we're like, you know, from a from a strictly financial perspective, and we'll talk about why this is happening to the financial markets. But from a financial perspective, everybody was getting lulled into the sense of security, right? It was, oh. I mean, really, we it, it, what what many of the experts are saying is that we are on. Or we're on a historic, like oh what a up, run, steady oh, what a run market yep. up climb where you like you've never seen where really without with very few bumps. I mean we had a little bit in the summertime, we had a little bit, and people of course were freaking out about it. And remember, things now are so amplified so, because of the all of the, the the thousands and thousands and thousands of different types of media outlets and different ways people are are you know things are brought to their attention. Yep. So. There's there's really no escaping anything, and anything that happens is going to be multiplied times a thousand because of because there's so many there's so many ways to look at it right through social media through the news through your phone through TV through the internet everything everything print anything that's out there you're going to find out what happens right so in in to, in now is you know in this past week when we see when when we do see some market the market as we know the S and P dropped the week before the S and P dropped. Twelve uh, percent. Oh yeah, twelve uh, percent in four days. Yep, which peel is that, peel that right off the top of last yeah, year's yeah. winnings. Yeah, yep, and, and, that's right. And that's a that's a real drop. That that is, and you know, of course, people are treating it like the sky is falling. And and from a financial standpoint, that it, it the sky hasn't fallen, right? No, and and no. even if the market drops more, the sky hasn't fallen. I mean, this is what the uh, for those of you who forget, and that's the problem is these long runs make people tend to forget that's right. that's right is that this is what the stock market does now 
The reason why it's doing it, that's a different animal. Oh, that's a, yeah. that's a, that's, well, a, that's a different that's animal. A, that is a different, so, so now, you know, in, in let's flash back to 2008 when we had the kind of this, you know, perfect storm of the housing market kind of collapsing and, and all built on, on kind of this house of cards. Global uh, economic meltdown. Exactly. Like right. That. So, yep, so we have, yep. so, so that happens and the S&P gets cut in half and, and, and no one, you know, from in the financial world, no one sees that coming, but now. The, the, the cause for this market disruption is different. And it is, of course, we're talking about the sorry, the coronavirus, yep. which is now, which, uh, it, which, is, is po which has popped up all over the place in places that people thought maybe it wasn't going to pop up in certain sectors of the market thought we were a little bit more insulated, or maybe they were led to believe by certain authorities that we were a little bit more insulated from that than we really are. So yeah, you get some things to think about, you know, and, and this, by the way, this becomes a test, right? This is the, this is the test that, that people have talked about, which is, you know, how, what, what's the response going to be? How's it going to get handled? Is it going to get handled in a, in a, in a way that, that people can comprehend, that people can have faith and confidence in? Because like everything that ever happens in the market, this too shall pass, right? But what does it look like along the way, right? What's the impact going to be on, you know, the long-term economic, you know, outlook for the country? What's the, what's the impact going to be on GDP? How's it going to affect other world economies? You know, and, and you know, what, what are, what's, what's, what's the new normal? Yeah, and, and, and that's the thing is, you know, when you get into this kind of, you know, everything's going great, you know, we're just cruising along, you know, every time I look at my account, my, my, my 401k is going up. Oh, you kick your heels up every month at the mailbox. Yeah, and you're like, you know, th this is great. There's, there's no, you know, there's, there's nothing to worry about, right? Um, when you get into one of those kind of lulled, like, you know, kind of false sense of, sa sense of satisfaction, and then something like this happens, now you're like, you know, you, you, you say, well, Maybe, maybe it'll just go away. Maybe, right. you know, and, and, you know, you see people start using hope as a course of action. Well, I hope that this doesn't That's change right. things. I hope that, you know, you use the words, the new normal. I hope this doesn't like redefine anything much different than this normal because this normal is pretty good, you know, from where I'm sitting. Now, I, I mean, the financial piece aside, I think the, the, the true, you know, the, the, the magnitude of this is that this is real. And the, and the fact about that, you know, we're in the United States, and you know, as we stand right now, there's there's been you know, several hundred cases of uh, you know of known cases of right. of the virus yeah. in the U.S. But I mean, in China, it's you know they they've been dealing with this thing now for about six weeks, right. and and when you know when you have you know a hundred thousand people that have that that have that that have this disease, and and again on on different levels of sure. of, of severity, but still. It's it's not something to be trifled with. Well, no, it's not it's not something to be trifled with. But this is where, in a situation like this, and any of these types of situations, this like is we're on the CDC. Yeah, this we're, this, we're this taking is questions from the World Health Organization. This is Jay. My name is, is Juan. No, yeah. I'm a doctor, a doctor of laws, not a doctor of anything medical related. But take what I say with a real heavy grain of salt. But the idea is, you you really, I mean, you have to have a resource to go to for something like this. And the resource can't be, I think it can't be, talking head media, where somebody right. has to fill 24 hours of a day of a newscast. Because right. it's all and, speculation. And, and it's all, that's right. That's right. You, you, you know, you, and if you talk to anybody who's in the know, they'll say, actually, funny what, what you just said. They'll say, there's a couple of sources for information, okay? It's not TMZ, okay? Right. It's not BuzzFeed. All right. Don't get me wrong. Competitors, not not sponsors of the show. All right. It's not page six. OK, it's not uh, pick anything. Right. It's not. Yeah. It's it's, you know, the CDC website. Uh, maybe it's a hospital website staffed and run by people who actually right. know what the heck they're talking about. A couple of very good, reliable sources. That's where you go to get your information and you combine that information with the advice and guidance you get from your advisors and you figure out your plan from there. You don't gather all the data that you can find, hoping that you can match up whatever's out there with either whatever you think or whatever your friends think or whatever you think the story is. That that that's you you, you know you need to. You, this is when facts matter. This is when yeah. facts matter. This isn't about opinions. This isn't about hemming and hawing. This isn't about what's going to keep your eyes on this screen so that we can run advertising at you 24/7. This is about what do I actually need to find out that's real and that's actually important. So, it, it, and it's a great example of, again, you know, not, not to become political, but it's a great example of kind of what the, 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 the true value of, of what the, the media is, right? So, so, you know, the media gets a lot of, you know, gets a lot of, uh, 
we'll, we'll call it, you know, discussion, a lot of critique sure. and, and from either side. But, you know, the whole concept of, of free media and free speech, this is this is where it, it's important because well, yeah. because for, for this for just this case, the facts really matter. Like, it's not like, hey, my opinion. It's not like, hey, listen, I think that, uh, you know, the coronavirus isn't that bad. And then I, me on the other side will say, well, I think the coronavirus is really bad. It's not it's not a question of what you it, it's the well, it's, it's, it, it's yes or no. It's it's either it's bad or it well, ain't bad. But how about this? I'll even let you <laughs> I'll even like I'll, I'll even entertain that discussion as long as we entertain the discussion and everybody who's part of the discussion or who's listening to the discussion knows it's your opinion, yeah. right? As long as everybody knows the difference between facts and opinion, then we can have a discussion. Right. But right. this, this, our show is not money and the law and medicine. Right? That's, no, right. No, that's, we, right. We, that's right. That's make right. Make no mistake about it. <laughs> we're we're voicing our opinions because we don't. I don't know. No, the, that's I don't right. know the no, that's right. That's I know right. from what I know. I know from what I what I hear and I, what I read. But it's not like I'm a I'm I'm a subject matter expert on it no. at all. No. So, but the problem is, is like you said, when 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 the media spin is put on it that they are the you know that they are are dispelling that they are the subject matter experts or or their sources are saying we're the subject matter experts and they're not right or they're given to then that's when that's when you get into trouble because that's when you know and I think that's what happened in the beginning when this started when this when when it first came up and like oh it's in China and the, this is the, and and you know they're they have a control over they, they're getting control over it right. and and then and then it's like oh wait but there's a, there's another case in Italy or there's another case in Iran and then and then all of a sudden now it's like well, wait a minute this isn't like, you know, and then people start kind of, you know, they rationalize it and say, well, you know, the flu kills more of, you know, the flu. And, oh, and yeah. We're not, and I'm not under underplaying the flu at all. No, 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 you know, no, But, no, but no. the flu does this. And so, you know what, it's kind of about the same thing. But again, it all comes into, I hope this thing doesn't get bad. Right. And and that was kind of, I think, the, the initial approach, at least, you know, kind of looking back in retrospect, it was like, hey, I hope it doesn't get bad. And now. Well, well and, and not to belabor the point, but I guess <laughs> the, the takeaway from something like this is. You know, you're, if you're watching whatever you're watching, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get on the laundry list of things that you could be watching that's awesome. taking okay, you down some rat hole. For, <laughs> no, 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 but some rat hole around this issue and focusing you on, you know, I just need you to be sitting here all day long so we can, you know, send you a message around 24 hours of opinion. By the way, the the the, the folks who are in the money management business, for, if you will, their job. Trust me, if if you think you want to know what's going on, not only do these folks want to know what's going on they can actually find out what's going on. So right. the people who are in the business of making decisions around what the economic impact of something like this is gonna be and how it's gonna impact a portfolio that they manage, trust me, they're on top of it, they know what's going on, and they're getting the information. Now, are they, is the information they get always accurate? It's the best information that's out there that they can find. And then they also recognize that these situations are fluid and that you need to build some flexibility in your planning. So, you know, again, if you're worried about it, the people who manage money for a living are also saying, hey, we based all of our assumptions this year on a, you know, 2.8% return for the GDP for the, for the, for the United States. And, uh, and China was, you know, estimated to come in at this. And those things have changed. And this is how we need to adjust our, our, our assumptions going forward. That's the type of analysis you want happening, which is how do we respond to this new reality, if you will, and what's the probability that this needs to adjust the way we do things? That's right. really what you want to focus on. That's it. That's that, all I got that, for you. That, that, that's what you, that, that's, and that's good. That's sage advice. It's, all, it's sage, sage, it's sage Again, advice. not a doc, doctor of laws, not a doctor of medicine. <laughs> yeah, a doc, no, doctor no, of laws. Yeah, it's different. Uh, it's doctor different. of comedy, that's right. perhaps. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. It's been, right. It's been, he's been known to. To get that compliment every it's now true. and again. It's true. It's true. Yep. 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 Uh, and and of course Sharon in my office who is works part time for Jay. She moonlights for great, Jay over there. Great. Yeah. Great. That's great. great. Yeah, she's great she's always she's great a big employee. fan as well. All right. All right. So uh, I'm, we wanted to address that. We yeah. want to talk. Yeah. That's right. It's, like it's, I said, we're not going to belabor. No. Belabor no. no. That if you have questions point. you want to talk to detail, email the show. Call us. We'll talk you through. <laughs> oh yeah. That's we'll fine. be. We're, we're, we'll be down at the clinic, you know, running tests, running trials. <laughs> That's right. Uh, yeah. Come on in. Jay, Jay and I, oh, oh, you, you feel warm. You feel warm. You Jay feel and I warm. should have you a vaccine right. uh, probably within the next 
yep. you know, three yep. or four We days. do all of our appointments in the office now. I wear a white coat <laughs> when I come into the appointment now. Hi, welcome for your estate planning consultation. <laughs> right. I wear yeah. a stethoscope. I don't use yeah. it. I just yeah. wear it. You, you, know. you, you look like a somebody from a soap opera. Anyway, I just want to wear the scrubs all day long. Basically, walk around in my pajamas, right? Hey, what's up? How's it going? How you right. doing? Scrubs, scrubs so, are so let's, cool. let's diagnose your problem. Right. Your problem you know, is you don't have, you have a will. That's your problem. Let's diagnose that problem right now. Let's solve the problem. You know what your prescription is? A trust. That's your prescription right there. Unfortunately, for if it wasn't for Julia serving, you would have already uh, had the, you would have been Dr. In the Dr. J, J yeah, thing yeah, all day long. Yeah, I would. Jerk. I got the same. Yeah, interest. Irving. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. How dare he? Good stuff. Steal, Good stuff. Stealing your stuff. All right. So what, what what do you want to talk about today? Uh, well, I, that was the biggest thing I wanted to get <laughs> off my chest. I wanted to defer to you and see what you had on your. Okay, mind. I do have. I have some things. Oh, that I'm shocked. I, I, I'm shocked. You're welcome. Oh you're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, first, I wanted to talk about. Um, let's talk about like the Hollis and Cable Access TV and, again. And, and, well, no, I just want to. I just want to. You know, say. You know that. For people who are who who have been watching us, you know, over the years, there's uh, as you, people, there, you can go back and you can see some of because this question came up is uh, is are are the old shows still relevant? Right? Oh, and again, so we are in, point. we are in our eighth year, yep. our eighth year of broadcasting. Uh, Christian's been with us most of those. Uh, probably oh, yeah, he least. started when he was 13. Yeah, he's, right, he started so, right. Yep. He was in middle school. Yep, and he, that's yeah, right. he said, I think I can work these cameras. I think I right? can do this. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. And Don Cronin was giving him like five bucks. Here yeah, you go. Right? Here you go. Go get him, Tiger. Yeah. Um, so they people ask, are, are, the, are the old shows still relevant? And I would probably say, like, probably to the show, yeah. Yeah. I, I You know, one of the, the our, our topics that we talk about are... They're 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 almost they they kind of they're really concepts you know yeah. and and everything you know and every now and again you know whether they're you know we talked about there's been law changes and there's been tax code changes and things of that nature that we've addressed but on the whole we talk about concepts and we talk about you know hey if you're going to approach your estate plan th this is these are the things that you need to you need to take into consideration and you know maybe there's a specific you know law or a specific change that's happened but for the most part. The concepts remain the same, and you know this. This is kind of shown in our practice, you know, the, over this past week, you know, especially with you know being, you know, having a lot of client conversation. But the idea of like, look, you know, if you if you haven't done your estate plan yet, do it now. Right. Like, do it. Do it. Like not do it. Not do it in a month from now. Not do it in like six months from now. But do your estate plan now. Well, and we've said this a thousand times, like while you're in sound mind and body, while right. you're while things are easy, while everybody's getting along because, you know, you know, we've gone over this a million times. Money's, you know, because money makes people act weird. So Well, I think I think your I think the point of <laughs> the the concepts and the topics are absolutely still relevant. Now, the solutions that might be suggested for some of the issues that have come up along the way, those may be those, those may have changed because of what you mentioned, changes to the tax law and, and so the the strategies of how to address some of these issues, those may be different. Those, may be, and, and not in a super negative way, not in an, an earth shattering way, but you know, for example, we talked about this a couple of weeks in the show, the SECURE Act came out, and, and one of the biggest changes to the SECURE Act was this idea of you don't get to stretch your IRA out for the rest of your lifetime now. Yeah. Now it's a 10 year you know, drawdown, yeah. basically. So the, so the issue is still the same, like, oh, I'm gonna inherit some money, I'm gonna inherit some money in an IRA, what do I do? Well, the answer is, well, nothing necessarily for 10 years, but here are some ways that we may want to address this with clients who are alive now and who want to address this. And there's also some of the things that we may talk about with clients who inherit that money. So again, the issue is the same. You inherited retirement money, but the solution of what to do with it now has, has changed a little bit. That's right. Excellent point. Because the concept stays the that's same, right. right? That's so right. So the concept, and, and that, what, it, what an excellent example, the stretch IRA. So why is that, what is, what, what, is the, what is the concept that we have there? So the concept for in Jay's example of the stretch IRA is that, remember, if, an, if I inherit an IRA and I want to take that money out, I have to pay taxes. That money has never been taxed. No, no, so, Uncle Sam so, is ready. So, so if, I, if I inherit an IRA, could I, if, it, if I inherit a $100,000 IRA, could I take all that money today? Of course I can. Day one, yes, you yeah, can. I can cash it out and I could say, give me the money. Show me the money, Oof, Jerry. You would die right? and work I could, that in there. Yep, I'd... I could do that. However, however, again, in the case of a beneficiary IRA, it's never been taxed. I, I immediately now have to pay taxes on $100,000. And Correct. oh, by the way, what else does that do? It also, I'm, I'm, have I made any more money? over the year doing my regular job? Maybe. As a matter of fact, 
probably, most likely I have. So if I did, then that $100,000 gets added to whatever That's other right. money I made. So it puts and me in a different bracket. Potentially I could be in a different tax bracket. So now I'm paying to, so the whole concept of, of taking, of having a, a stretch IRA or being able to take it not all at once is that I forego paying taxes. I postpone paying taxes. And that concept is something that, 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 that holds true, whether it ta whether I can postpone paying taxes right. for 10 years or whether I can postpone paying, paying taxes for 30 years, it's the concept still the same. It's just a matter of, you know, what, how, how long, how long I get to do it. How long right. I yeah, get the to concept was you inherited money and you have some options. You have some decisions to right. make about how you take it what an excellent and what example. the impact it's going to have on my own taxes. Yep. So now the rules have changed. The concept is still the same. You inherited money. Now you have a shorter window with which to take that money out. Uncle Sam wants their pound of flesh. How do we do that? How do we structure that going forward, right? Yeah. On the law side, we've always talked about using trusts to avoid probate. And we've always talked about the importance of having health care proxies and powers of attorney for guardianship. A couple of years back, uh, the probate code changed. When the probate code changed and we went to the uniform probate code, you still needed to have a will. We still talked about recommending trusts, the process of how these things got handled. Those changed. But conceptually, it was the same idea. How do you want to administer your estate in the event, unfortunately, that something happens to you? The tax laws have changed. The, the threshold for the federal estate tax has gone through the roof. It might even, who knows, it might even go away again. Who knows? Go away, right? But the idea Hopefully of, it goes away like when I, you know, when you die because of your ginormous estate. Oh, yeah, my yeah. massive, yeah, my massive, well, my massive. It'll help, uh, right? You right. and Could, George Steinbrenner. That's Brenna. right. That's right. Yeah. Could help. Um, but the idea is, you know, same thing. I want to get these assets to my kids. I want to pay as little in taxes as I can. We don't want to evade taxes. We want to avoid taxes. And so, because one of them gets us in jail and one of them gets us more money. So we want to make sure that we manage that transition. And again, if the tax laws change, the concepts of estate administration, who's going to be your executor, who's going to be your trustee, providing for your minor children, those all stay the same. And actually, when I was in law school, when, the, when there was a lot of changes to the tax law and, and, the, and, the, and the estate tax, was, was the threshold was very fluid, one of my favorite, favorite all-time professors who, you know, when, 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 when central casting says, yeah, we need you to send us down a law professor, this is the guy <laughs> yeah, they this, send, right? Yeah. This is the guy You're they send. some extras for the paper chase. Yep. He was just fantastic. I loved him. His class was great. You were always terrified because you had to be ready because you never know at a moment's notice. He could make you your night. Your, yeah. he, he could make your night one for the record books, <laughs> if you weren't paying attention. And, and he had, uh, you know, he Your was very Honor, funny. I just have a few more questions. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. You go, and they go to that whole Socratic method thing. But but I said to him one time, I said, I have a question for you. I said, this, this tax law thing, you know, the threshold keeps getting higher and higher and higher. I said, am, am I getting into the business of building buggies, you know, right as, as, uh, as, as, uh, as Ford comes out with this Model A? And uh, he says, no, no, not at all. He said, regardless of what the tax code looks like, there's always going to be a need for a state administration, whether people pay taxes or don't pay taxes, this concept of, you know, managing your property and getting it from A to, that's not going away, right? Yeah. So that, that, so the tax thing is important, but it's not, you know, because they've gotten rid of it to a certain extent, that doesn't, that doesn't ruin your life, if you will. And we get a fair amount of inquiries from people who have zero estate tax problems. They have an estate administration issue. They need help getting somebody appointed selling some property, you know, and, and we've talked about this before. It's not always multi-million dollar, you know, fancy, glamorous things on TV. So, so the long answer to the easy question of are, are the older shows, are these concepts still relevant? I, I, think, it's, I think it's a resounding yes. I, it's almost, and this is the scary thing, it's almost like Jay. We it that way. It, oh, well, okay. it, because that segues into what I really want to talk about. Oh, we'll take a quick break. Well, no, hold on, oh. hold on. I'm, I'll All take right. us. I'm going right. to take us in the break. Take I'm, us I'm into the break. Up. So right. Jay, Jay, right. Jay right. obviously he he knows. So Jay Jay touched on some subjects about regardless of the change, regardless of the of of anything that 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 you know can change over time. There are some there are some constants, uh, and one of the constants, particularly in 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 his line of work in the estate planning, is the ability to 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 navigate that to navigate that that road that road sure. of, of administering estate regardless of what the of what and that's that's why you have an attorney that's why you have uh, that's why you have somebody that is going to take you through that and I want to talk about the importance of of that and the importance of that. Of what services and 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 how to and how that how that type of services 
is absolutely critical, regardless of what the of what the law tells me to do. With that, oh, go. With that, we will be right back on Money and Law, My FM 101.3. First class radio, awesome, best day ever. Nueva, ever. Nueva yeah, time yeah, winner yeah. of the Massachusetts Broadcast That would be nine. That would be nine. As it year. says, right, yeah, it would be That's nine. Right. And uh, so don't go anywhere. We will We will be right back. <laughs> and we're back. Money in the Law, my FM 101.3. Yeah, Casey, Casey uh, moment right once there. Once <laughs> again, once again, the 2019 nine time, Nueva time winner of the Massachusetts Broadcasters Association radio station of the year. For all the obvious reasons. Yeah. Oh, great well, partner, great partner in the community, and uh, really love to give back. And uh, local programming that uh, has become a little bit harder to find these nope, days. Nobody does local better nope, than, nope. than these guys do. FM buy local, get local. They do it the best. No, but, uh, the Tom best. McAuliffe, you know, in, 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 his, in his infinite wisdom, carrying in the, in the, in the, in the footsteps of his father, uh, WMRC and now my FM, yeah. uh, they, they, there's nobody more connected to the com to a Mr. community. Mr. Local, Mr. Local. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So, and you know, we say local, you know, the greater Milford community, but you know, every, you know, we're from Holliston, but you know, everybody, everywhere it touches, you know, all the, all the cool towns. He's Franklin, got a big footprint. Yep, yep. So, so all the towns. So when, when think about it. So when, when someone's telling your story a hundred years from now, right? No, no, whoever, whoever you are, if someone's telling your story, they're going to say, you know, my old man or my great grandfather, my, you know, you know, my, he was a, he was a, he was a selectman in, in Holliston, you know, right next to Bellingham, right next to Milford, right next to, you know, like that, that's, that's your, your, this is all part of your history. Yes, this is yeah, it, it's right? It's all part of it. Yeah. So, so although we take it for granted, like, oh, Bellingham, oh, Milford, oh, you know, you know, it's, I mean, this is it. This yeah. is, this is your story, right? This, this is your, this, this is your, your backyard. Movie. This, your this backyard. is your movie, that's right? This is your backyard. setting for this your movie. This is your Truman Show, right? Yeah. And 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 my FM one hundred one point three they they play a part critical part yeah critical part they play a part so I just want to so Tom I know you're listening I know well I know you're making your whole family listen because this thing goes Trapped runs twenty four seven yep. so I just want to thank you for listening all the McCallists nice. that are listening we today love we love yeah, them and uh, and and know that we appreciate all that you do and uh, us on my you know the eight year running money in the law we appreciate that nice all right so touching so very touching so this is what I wanted to talk about Go this ahead. is what I want to say so. So again, with all of the things that you know, all of the kind of the, the nuances and, and 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 details and technicalities, one of the things that holds through that that remains consistent from a, from a conceptual standpoint, is the idea of what is your job, what is my job, right? So we, sure. we are we are we we provide service, right? We we help people get in, get in, and you especially we help people get from point A to point B. So I, I don't have an estate plan. I. I don't have I don't have any kind of an idea of what's going to happen. I I, I want to care for my family, but I know that you know once you know I get my I get hit by my piece of Skylab, right? Then I have no more control over that. And then you say, au contraire, yes you do, yes right. you do, and here's how you do it. And then so me, if I'm you know for, as as with most people, they don't know about this or they That's don't right. know how to do it. They don't know. So what what do they get? They get this guy, right? They get a, they get somebody. They get sure. they get a. They get a and they get an advisor. They get a but but more than an advisor, you get somebody who's and it's not like they're just going to do this for you and be like, eh, you know, here you go. Here's your there, there's it, it's a it's a it's a his job. It's it's almost like you're like the you're like the like the coach or like their you're almost like their like their Traffic their up. guide. Yeah, you're or even better. Up. No, yeah. you're like their their tour guide, and you say, look, this is this is where you are. Let me show you how to do this. And right. there's going to be a bit of a journey of this. And there's going to be work and there's going to be things you have to do. And there's going to be some emotions that you're going to have to, you know, connect with and, and some, some tough decisions you have to make. But you know what? I'm going to be there and I'm going to make this. I'm going to make that journey for you good. I'm right. going to make that journey for you easier. I'm going to make that journey for you uh, something that you understand so, so you're comfortable with. Now, you're going to pay for it because that's what you do. You, you're, you're paying for my sure. service. But more than just getting, you know, at, at the end, more than just getting an estate plan, more than just getting a, a will or a trust or a durable power of attorney, I'm getting, I'm getting that whole experience of before I didn't know, before I didn't have this set up, and now I do. That's right. And now I understand it. And you know what? Even if I don't understand it or even if I forget about it or even if I'm like, ah, I'm not really sure what, what this means or why I did this, guess what I have? I have a phone number. I have an email address. And I can say, hey, Jay. Uh, this is John. Um, I'm. Remember we did this, and remember we right. said, and and Jay will be like, oh yeah, l l hold on, let me pull up your file and say, yeah, this is why you did this. Do you understand why? And then I'll be like, uh, no. And you're like, yeah, I okay. knew. I well, here's what happens. I knew exactly what we were doing when I left your office, 
And by the time I get to the car in the parking lot, it kind of escapes me. And, 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 can, you, and can you refresh this for because me? Because it's a lot, right? That's right. Yeah, That's right. It is a lot. lot. It is a lot. But, you know, it's funny. We, so we, we had this discussion came up at the office today. Somebody had called in and they, they wanted to know what the, what the price was, you know, for an estate plan. And to your point, you know, we try, to, we try to sort of educate, if you will, the clients to say, look, you know, we're, we're, the drafting of the documents piece of it, that's part of it, right? That's, that's your plan, right? That's, mm -hmm. the, that's the, the, the hard, the tactile, you know, do I have a trust? Yes, it's written in these 21 pages. Do I have a health care proxy? Yes, it's these six or seven pages. Well, that's, the, that's, the, a, that's the tangible result of that's it. That's right. That's the right. And, and, and those, and we tell this to everybody, those are the tools in the toolbox, right? So we can make the analogy all the time, right? I need to renovate the garage. Okay, well, if the, if the contractor just shows up and dumps all the tools in the middle of the garage and then leaves, okay, depending on your skill set, that may or may not be all that much assistance to you, right? <laughs> and so when you hire the, the contractor, when you hire the builder, when you hire the plumber, when you hire the landscaper to do these things, you know, they're going to come in and they're going to say, well, you know, I know you want to, uh, you know, do the garage, but there's a lot going on here, right? Is that a load-bearing wall? Is there electric out here? If we're going to run electric out here, does the pay, you know, the, the, go, go through any project you've ever started on. And the same on the financial side and the same on the legal side, there's a lot of questions that we are going to ask that are somewhat unrelated because you're just going to come charging through the door saying, give me some documents. Give me a plan as opposed to, or give me some documents, give me some paperwork as opposed to, well, let's figure out what we need to kind of pull together here, right? Let's, what's, what are we talking about? How's everybody's health? Well, my health is terrible. Why do you ask? Well, what, why is it terrible? Well, I have a, you know, early stages of Alzheimer's. I have uh, cancer. I'm, I'm, you know, my mortality is in question. Okay, we're going to do things very differently based on what your answers are. Same as when your contractor comes in and says, well, this garage is falling apart. There's nothing, we can't save this thing. Or... We could save it, but you got to get out your checkbook because you have a lot of problems here. Maybe there's a better way for us to go about doing this. And right. so the contractor is going to walk you through that process. The advisor is going to say, hey, your plan for retirement is terrible. It's horrible. And you have a lot of problems that we need to button up. And your lawyer is going to do the same thing. And they're going to say, well, let's figure out what we have to do here to make this thing work. <laughs> I, the, the, what, what I love about the, the, the con, when, when people say, and we have clients will say this. They're like, um, yeah, well, can I just do, you know, I, can I just buy index funds or can I just do this? And I'm not knocking index funds. No, no, funds no. There's, all, there's all kinds of ways to just, skin a cat. Can yeah. I do this myself? Can I do this? And, and potentially you could, right? Yeah. Like you said, you know, like if using your contractor analogy, you know, if it's a guy like me and the contractor dumps all his tools in the middle of my garage, I mean, I'm building the three-story, you know, yep. brownstone probably. Yep. yep. Actually, that's not true. Right. If but but there are people out there that could do it, right? They're like, Absolutely oh, oh right. yeah, I need you to, uh, you know, I need to do drywall in here. Like, yeah, I could do drywall. Just give me yeah. the stuff. Right? I, just, yeah, yeah. You know, I just don't have the time or whatever. But for the most part, most people don't have, they don't have that kind of given skill set. So it, it comes down to this. It's like, yeah, I, I, could, I, could I go online and I could, could I make my own will? Yep, you can. Absolutely. You, you, you absolutely can. But, but, but is that necessarily going to, is that accomplishing what you want to do? And that's the question. And that's the question that, that Jay will ask you. That's the It'll be, it, it's not like people don't come in and say, hey, I need a will. Hey, I need an estate plan. Hey, it's like, no, no, that's not the question. Right. Obviously, I know you need that. What do you want to do? Right. What, do you, what do you want to see? What do you want to see when the dust settles? What do you want to see when, 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 you're, when you're checking out? What, what do you want to happen? Right. Because that's, that's the plan. And, and that's where you have, like, that's when the idea of, of you know, asking the right questions, uh, being able to being able to understand like kind of what your you know have a good understanding of what your situation is, and then you know when you when you use somebody like Jay, he has it, it's not like he's this is his first time doing this. So so when you say well I don't know this you know everything's different. I mean uh, my you know my my brother he's remarried and my sister in law she's like she doesn't like the family and and so to you this is like a, a you know it's all new it's all different it's all unique. To somebody who's who does it for a living, this is they see this all the time. Well, and we, you know we so the, and you, you're, you there's a there's a there's a line here, right? And sometimes people don't necessarily always understand the line. So we at the firm we sort of see our value driven off of how much help we provide to people, right? Just like you guys, right? The more help you provide, the more people you can help, 
the, the, the better you feel about the, about the way about the way your firm is is sort of operating, if you will, because that's what we're in the business, right? We're in the business of helping people, right? You're helping them plan for retirement. You're helping them get their portfolios lined up. We're helping them to get their estate planning lined up, and, and sort of and, and 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 if you're if if you're just looking for a for a piece of paper, or if you're just looking for this, you know, I have a one one trick pony solution here. Then you have to start to worry about, you know, do I want to be a customer? Do I want to be a client? Right? Because right. there's a because there's a there's a big difference. There's a big difference, right? And and we try to kill ourselves, right, to help our clients out, right? When when do you want to meet? Well, I can only meet on a Saturday morning. That's fine. Let's meet on a Saturday morning. Uh, I need to, you know, I need to have a conference call with 58 members of my family because everybody needs to understand what's going on. Then let's make it happen. Let's find. Let's let's make sure everybody understands what's going on. And and we have a whole bunch of more questions. Great. Let's answer all those questions. I mean, we've we've tried to set our 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 approach up so that everybody feels included and that the advice and guidance that we give you is such that you say to yourself this is way more than i would get that if i was just getting one thing mm -hmm. right and, and I, I need because people will come in all the time i i need a will well do you let's figure it out if you already know what you want that's fine and we, we can talk through that but we may make some suggestions. But it's not it. Well, and and what people could get concerned with is that it's an upsell. Oh well, no, you don't need a will. That's you right. Know, you need this. You need this. You need this. And in many cases, some I will say some or many cases, may, or maybe it is. Maybe maybe some guys will come in and try and upsell you, right? And, and, and by the way, and, and for and, and somebody and somebody who's good, somebody who you work with, who's good, they will tell you right off the bat if that's all you need. That's all we're going to recommend, yeah. right? We're not, there is no upsell, right? Yeah. There's no there's no bait and switch. If that's what makes the most sense for you, then that's what we're going to recommend, you know. And and we and we say this to people all the time when they come in as clients or pretend as as prospective clients, we say, look, we work for you, right? You are the boss. The, when you work with an attorney who's your attorney, this isn't us, you know, on some lifetime TV movie trying to scam you into signing some document that takes something right. away from you, right? We're not trying to pull a fast one on you, we're, we're working for you. Yeah. Just like the investment advisors, we're working for you. We're, you, know, you have a fiduciary obligation to say, look, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, we're going to do what we think is the right thing for you. Your, your, your interests are first. Yeah. We want you to win. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. If you win, we win. Right. That's the win, right? Yeah. It's not me versus you. It's us together. No. And, and this, is, this, this carries over to when, when, when you come into the office, we're going to sit down and we're going to say, this is what I would do. I mean, if you're asking, you know, king for a and day, ask the question. king for a day, yeah. or, or people will say all the time, if I was your mother, what would you tell me to do? Yeah. I would tell you to do that. Yeah. And, if, and, if, and if that didn't make sense, we would tell you not to do that. And so a lot of this feeds into what we started this whole show talking about, which was having the ability to reach out and get consistent and good advice and guidance that benefits you, benefits you first and foremost. That's really, that, that's the sign of this is a relationship and I think I can make this relationship work. This is, what I, this is what I want my relationship to be with my investment advisor, with my attorney. It's a, it's, it, and that's what it is. It's a relationship. You, you got to like them, they got to like you. I mean, we, we've had situations where somebody comes in and we go, no, no, yeah. no. This is not going to work out for any number of reasons. Most of them yours. This is not going to work out. <laughs> We better just False. part as friends right here because <laughs> it's just not going to be. It happens. And yeah. people have said the same thing to us. Just don't like you. There's something that just doesn't fit. Our personalities clash. That's fine. It happens. Jay doesn't get that bad. But, <laughs> but, but, we, but you, you want it to be something that's positive. All right. We're going we're gonna, to uh, take a quick break. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, uh, talk about that point even more about what that relationship is like and, and what you can what you can expect in, in those type of relationships, or what you should expect in those type of relationships, <sighs> right? Mm, on Money in the Law with My FM 101 on My, um, my FM 101.3 and the Howls and Cable Access television, dual camera. Jay Marsden from the Marsden Law Group. I'm John Drohan. We will be, don't go anywhere. We will be right back. And we're back. Money in the Law, My <laughs> FM 101.3. Jay Marsden, Marsden Law Group, John Drohan, man, for financial. Christian Man in the Con. Almost dancing, heard him. Almost dancing, heard him. Yeah. Dancing his way behind the scenes back there. He's doing a little behind the scenes. I mean, Christian was almost caught on camera. You know, what it, you know what it was? Behind. You know what it was? I think because it's almost St. Patrick's Day. And I <laughs> think what we it. don't know is that I believe Christian, uh, two-time regional um, Irish step dance 
tallest Did of champions. Did we not know that? And so I think that's Holy what he was kind of. That was like a little bit of a stretch out there. Like he's gearing up for us. <laughs> he's he's kind of like. He's got practice yeah, right after yeah. this. So he's probably there getting There you go, Michael Flatley. Go yeah. get him, Tiger. Go <laughs> Michael Flatley. Go get him, Tiger. Remember, uh, when that, remember when that was the craze? You know what? It's funny. I, I When it came out, I was a addict to Trans- it. So we, it. We didn't see Michael Flatley. We, we went to see it in Boston, um, and it was like the next round of right. guys. And uh, it's funny. So recently we were just down, we were visiting friends in New York, and uh, on right on Radio City, we're, we're like, hey, let's go walk by Radio City Music Hall. Sure. Riverdance is it's coming back. Wow. It's coming right. back. Because yeah. it all comes around. Yeah. Uh, good stuff. I remember when it was crazy. Oh, it was, man, it was yeah. like, God. I was like, wait, 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 people dance like that? No one's told me this, like, right? Legit? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's this right. Is, this is actually really good. <laughs> yep, that's right, that's right. So, well, gear up for it, folks. It's that time and of every, year. And all of you Irishmen out there, all of you, and if you say you haven't, you're lying, everybody has tried to Irish step dance at some point in the... In, some, in one some, of those evenings. At some point at the, yeah. at some point in the wedding yeah. or at some point in yeah. the bachelor party or Here at some point go. in the fill in the Here blanks, yep. someone thought they were Michael Flatley. Line up. Had the Line headband up. on, yep. all that crazy stuff, Line whatever up. it is. Took your shirt off and start dancing. <laughs> Let's right. go. That's, That's right. Go. Put your arms out. Frightened some small children. Scared there's away video of it. Scared too. away a yeah. family. There's video of it. And if you think there's not, you're, you're, you're lying. There might not be. There might be video from our... I mean, there's video. There's video of... You? All right. Well, I'm not saying know. me, but if anybody has video of that, send that into the show. Contact me <laughs> off the yeah. air. We'll work that right into the right Probably. into the Holliston HK. Right yeah, into it's the, into the HK, transmission. Yeah. All right. All right. So prior to the break, we're talking about something a little bit nebulous, but in this day and age right now of it's not nebulous. Know, it's, it's not real. nebulous, but but it's, it's a little real. bit you know, it's a little but it's you know, again, this this day and age of the crazy, you know, market volatility and you're sort of understanding where do you go, where can you go to be able to get some sense of, all right, what's going on, what's happening, and, and how does it impact me? Because remember, you're the client and it's all about you. That's what it's all, it's, it's designed to be all about you or it should be designed to be all about you. And, and, and we were saying right before the break that it, it's, it's about you, but it's, 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 a, it, it's more than that. So there's, there's the relationship that you, that you have with your advisor, that your advisor, you, you have a, you know, maybe a contractual relationship that says, you know, I am going to help you get, you know, to, to build your, we use the estate plan analogy. So I am going to help you create your estate plan. And, and maybe your estate plan is, is somewhat of a, an easier one because there's not as many moving parts or it could be very complicated because right. for, for a whole litany of reasons. The bottom line is this. When you engage with said advisor, th- this and it's a very personal thing because you're, you're talking about like kind of what's the, we're talking about you know kind of everything that you work for and what you're gonna and how your family is gonna be cared for you know when you're no longer there to care for them. It's a big deal. Sure. Yeah. So, it's a huge deal. So so there's there's gonna be this journey that you're gonna go that you're gonna begin with this advisor and I, again not to sound too like you know touchy feely. But there's a journey that you're going to go, that you're going to begin with you, your family's going to go. And, and this journey may, you know, if you're lucky, if you're building an estate plan, it lasts a long time because that means your estate plan doesn't go into action yeah. until, you know, many, many yeah. years. Best case now. scenario, we're blowing a couple inches of dust off this thing at some point down the road. That's when it actually gets, gets used. Right. But, but the, 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 the process of it, the, 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 you know, the path that you go on, that's, that's an event. And that's something that that is not to just be taken is not to just be blown off because like we said you can get a you can get a will you can you can get a, a trust you can get you can get all the documentation that goes along with it but is is are you going to be able to is your problem actually getting solved is your is your end state actually going to be realized and Along with that is the, you know, Jay touched on this before about how, you know, your, your relationship with, with your advisor, I mean, that's an important relationship and that's, and it's an important relationship in that you, as it, it's all about you, you need to have an experience, you, that experience of kind of, of, of building your estate plan needs to be a positive one. It needs to be a, a good one. It needs to be almost a, like, maybe not like a, a memorable, like a, you know, like a, like when my kid got married, but it needs to be something that, that you carry away from you. Like, you know what? I feel good about where I'm at now. I feel good about right. what, 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 you know, in, in my, my attorney's done for me. And don't get me wrong, your attorney's happy about that too because you know what you're going to do? You're going to then say, hey, guess what? You know, when someone says, I got to do my staple, I'm like, no, 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 call my guy because this is what happened with me. Well, and here's the thing. By the way, the people that you work with, hopefully, they get in the business 
because they like doing this, right? They yeah. like talking to, you know, somebody came in the other day and they were like, oh, I, I need you to, you know, read this trust document. I'm like, yeah, lay it on me. Let's go, right? <laughs> and they're great. like, they're like, really? I'm like, yeah, they I like reading. Put my sports I, page. I, and yeah. I, yeah, I like reading <laughs> trust documents. I think they're exciting. I think they're fun. And everybody kind of rolls their eyes and says, you know, and just by the way, just like I think other things are like, oh my God, it's not my thing. I want to have somebody that I can go to who can help me with this because huh. I don't want to do taxes. I don't want to do those anymore. I did them for years. Yeah. I don't do them anymore. I want somebody else to do them. And by the way, the person who did them or who does them loves doing them, right? Yeah. They love, and they tell you all about how much they love doing taxes, how much they love finding and uncovering does Adam all these things. Does you actually say he loves yes, doing Yes, loves taxes. doing, loves them, loves them. All right, of course he does. Al, I'm putting you on the spot right he here. Loves so, doing. Yeah, he loves so doing. Yeah, so it's on the record. You love doing taxes. That's right, why you go to those people. Don't good don't to know. Don't you like helping people with financial planning? <laughs> I don't do. you love helping people I, I set do. their retirement goals I do. up? I love retirement. That's right. Don't I love, love talking I, numbers. I love I love I love talking about retirement. Right. What do you not love? What do you not love? Do you love doing taxes? I'm not a big tax fan. No, I I like talking about taxes. I don't like actually doing. The taxes yeah, conceptually, yes. Yeah, this yeah. is the impact of this, is, but yeah, I don't want to sit down with a 1040 and a pencil and a calculator. It's funny you ask no. that because I, 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 sometimes I call myself like a retirement cheerleader. So when someone's like saying, you know, we're thinking about retirement, I'm like, drop what you're doing. Let, let's make this happen. Oh right? my God. Let's go. Let's go. You want to retire? We, we can do this. You don't think you can? I bet you can. I bet you can. It's yeah. exciting. It's it, exciting. It is. But there, but, but there's other, there's other people that are part of the team that say, look, that's not my thing. I don't yeah. want to do that. I would rather help you you know, put all the tools together and I'd rather help you, you know, build the house a little bit, but I want to be up front. I want yeah. to be up front. I want to, I want to, and, and so the, the, the advisor that you work with is going to hopefully have put a process in place that says, this is how we make all of this work for you. Yeah. You're in the middle. You're the client. You're in the middle. And That's so for, so, for, so on the, on the, on the estate planning side of the house, right? So think about it. So when, what, why do people come, why are people, or when people are making their estate plan, they're, they're making a plan for when they die. That's right. Right. So who likes to think about when they die? Nobody. Right. Well, nope. hold on. Just let me hear Go my hear, right. hear I'll my. I'll hear point. you up. So so no one likes the thought of that. No one likes the idea of that, right? So guess what? So you go to your you go to your estate planning attorney, and what is their job? Their job is to because because if you don't have any plan in place, and you're like, oh, what's going to happen? You worry, and you like have this like sense of you carry with this sense of angst and anxiety and worry. What is their job? Their job is to say, listen. We're going to do this. We're going to. This is what you want to do. You want to accomplish this, okay? These are what. This is what needs to happen. These are the signatures we need to get. This is your plan. You like this plan? This is your plan. Good. Boom. Now it's done, and we're going to put it away. And guess what? You don't have to do anymore. You don't have to worry. Now, if something changes, let me know. Let's right? figure it out. Something changes, you call me up, and we'll we'll make sure that everything's going according to plan. But now, guess what? It's buttoned up. It's here. You have a copy. I have a copy. Something happens. Something changes. You call me up. Until then, stop worrying. Well, you know, so this is gonna sound a little weird, right? So I, my kids are in high school, right? I'm not too old, right? I'm 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 51. You're, I'm 51, same 52. age as you. I'm you're 50. 52 yeah. is right there. I yeah. can touch it. 52. I can touch it. But here, but here's what I don't worry about, right? I don't worry about things that I can't control. Hmm. So I can't control when they call my number, right? But here's what I can control. I can control whether or not I have an estate plan in place that makes sure that if something happens to me, everything gets to my wife. And I can control how much insurance I have. So that if I get hit by a bus walking out of here today, somebody gets a check and a check that's going to actually be able to do something for them and have an impact on somebody's life. And yes, of course, I'll miss my family. Will they miss me? I hope. I hope they will. Right. <laughs> of so course I, they will. I'd be I'd be bummed out. Yeah. I like I like being around. I like doing the show with right. you. I like having fun. Yeah. Right. This but, is OK. But, Things are OK. This right? is all right. <laughs> but but, uh, but but I don't worry because if I'm not around, I know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen 10 years from now, but I have an idea of what the first six months looks like. Right. And I have an idea why, because I wrote it all down. You're controlling what you can I've control. controlled what I can control. And when you do estate planning, we joke about it all the time. You laugh every time I say it. It's the ultimate act of love for your family. You've taken the responsibility to say, if something happens, everybody, I've made it easy for you. I've let you know not only what tools you need, not only where the tools are, but I've given them to you to help me get me through, whether it's some type of health event or to help me get to my great reward down the road. I've made it known what I want to have happen. That's right. And that's not, that, that's, that's a huge gift because ask any of your friends, they'll tell you about some crazy story about who didn't do it. You know who didn't do it, by the way? Aretha Franklin. She didn't do it. You know what they found? They found three handwritten, what they think may or may not be wills, 
in the couch cushion in her living room. You know who didn't do it? Prince. Prince didn't do it. Hmm. He didn't have something. You know who did do it? What's his name there? The kid from 90210. Uh, Luke Perry. He did do it, right? That's why you're never going to hear anything because he did. He buttoned it all up. He had all of his stuff lined up. So you don't know what's going to happen. All you do know is his kids are all taken care of because he did it. Right. That's why you don't know. So if, you, you know, if, you, if you're in this time of uncertainty where this thing's bouncing around, control what you can control. Figure out what you need to do for your estate plan to get that done. Figure out what you need to do for your retirement planning to get that done so that you can control these things. Because right now, when you turn on the TV, it feels like all the bricks are falling out of the wall. These are things that you can control. This other stuff, you can't worry about it. Use your advisors. Talk to your advisors. Let them tell you what's really important, what you need to focus on, and then control what you can control. Right. That's that's the message of today. I, and, and I think we'll, we'll leave it on that. All that and wash your hands. You know, make sure you wash yeah, your hands. Yeah, coughing around. Coughing exactly. around. That's that, right. Yep. That stuff, right? That's and right. I always found that, you know, when I caught the coronavirus, I always found a Bloody Mary the next day. Did a lot to sort of resolve a lot of those issues. <laughs> we may want, we so, may want to call the CDC and let them do know. They know yeah, do they I know that? Do they know that? I don't know. I'm gonna, yeah, let's email yeah. them. Let's email <laughs> them. <laughs> All right, so that's good. That's a wrap on uh, Money in the Law for this week. Uh, we have learned quite a quite control a bit. Control right? yep. what you can control. Control what you control, and uh, and 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 make sure you 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 expect from your advisors from from your advisor relationship that kind of uh, that kind of, of dedication and commitment to to uh, to solving your problem, to solving and and being there for you. You know, to, to solve your problem and not just to give you a piece of paper. And don't be afraid to call any of the people in this room if you want a second opinion. That's all. Leave it like that. Just call it like that. Leave, leave it at just that. Just call it like it is. All right. All we'll right. Uh, see everybody next Saturday on Money Law, My FM 101.3 and the Holliston Cable Access TV. Christian, we'll see you later on. See you next week.